Selected. Where is Waldo Stadium? Kalamazoo, Michigan. It is the home of the Western Michigan Broncos, and the fans have been eager for this showdown for a while. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the MAC, the Western Michigan Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Broncos will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. The Crimson Tide offense takes the field to start things off. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. It's a really nice looking throw. This dude is a weapon in this offense at the quarterback position. It's so funny. You know, I think back to guys like Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron, guys that may or may not have unfairly been tabbed as game managers. And then you think of Jalen Hurts, Tua, and Bryce Young in recent years, and just how dynamic and versatile these guys were at the position and how they really helped take this offense to the next level. Watching this guy reminds me a little bit of that. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. Little touch pass to the receiver. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. And now on second down for this offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. From the gun, the running back has it. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. I'm amazed by this offense. This is how you set the tone for a game. Running, throwing on the opening drive, driving right down the field. You've just run to set yourself up now in first and goal. They are feeling it. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Football, you get to turn quick and don't hurt. And you can tell when you run these RPOs, the QBs want to make that decision quick. And he, I think he hurried it a little bit too much. Got the ball out quick, but obviously it was inaccurate in this pass. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Running play to the left, looking for the end zone here. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to throw on third and goal. 
Snags it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. The AT unit on the field. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7 0 to start this one. So it's an 80 yard drive, and they close the deal with the seven yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Western Michigan Broncos offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How frustrating is that? You're that running back. Where were you supposed to go? There was absolutely no lane for him on that play. A third and long coming up here. To the air. It's Wolf. Pressure coming. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. QBs and receivers on third down, everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure, the quarterback gets hit, just not on the same page with this target. The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Slips through the line, and the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Here comes that Alabama offense. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Fast motion from the offense. Wants to throw on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Bernard. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Western Michigan, zero. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Gets it out quickly. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Really good looking run. You know, you think about the legacy Alabama has at the running back position. It's ridiculous. Mark Ingram won a Heisman, obviously, Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs. I'm going to go back to Sean Alexander, who I played against back in the day, too. All these guys had speed. All these guys had vision and quickness. And this guy right here, he has all of those traits himself. Just another big time talent in the Crimson Tide backfield. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. 
defense has to be better on the back end. They knew this offense was going to come out, and they were going to challenge them. They were going to try to push the ball vertically down the field. They've now given up two touchdown passes in this game. They have got to shore up their play in the back half. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane and they'll stop him at the 16. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Pre-snap motion, quarterback trying to get a read. And he knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And it is a good idea to game tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. Well, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. They'll give it to him again. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking to pass. It's Wolf. Fires to the wideout. And they fail to hook up on third down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Turns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Going up top on first down. Quickly complete. And he goes down after making the grab. Picked up a few, but he's still short of the first down mark. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You've got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. 
They turn to the passing game on third and short. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Looking for a man. It's Wolf. Wide open downfield. There's a timeout for Hall as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They've been completely lethargic in this first half, but finally some signs of life. And we've seen it, Reese, throughout time, throughout college football history. You get that one big play, momentum starts to come in, and I don't know what it is. It changes everything. Maybe that's the play they needed to finally get some points on the scoreboard before the half. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Trying play action. Unloads it downfield. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking but couldn't reel it in. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. Wide receiver shows motion. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Broncos will punt it away on fourth down. Delivers the contact. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. It's complete. A huge pickup. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. They'll immediately call timeout. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Got it in the middle. It's Prentice. He tackled immediately after the catch. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Offense in an empty set. Wide out in motion. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. They're working that left side. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try to get something out of this drive before the end of the half. And it's right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds 
and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you have been calling a great broadcast today from there in Kalamazoo. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Waldo Stadium. Ready to start the second half, Alabama will kick it off. And he's gonna bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Trying to set the tone with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off play action. Finds his tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football. Put a nice drive together and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Running back goes in motion. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Snags it over the middle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And that's a great example of this quarterback having intense confidence in his own arm talent. That was not an easy window to throw into, but he had the ability, and he knew it. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Pulls it in. It's Prentice. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. The evolution of the Alabama offense has always been built around what does the quarterback do best, and this guy's doing a lot of things well. 
And we've seen some sensational ones. And to your point, I like that. Jalen Hurts, really good runner. They built it around his feet. You know, Bryce Young, really good passer. Tua Tungavaloa, really good passer. More about the passing game, explosive passing play. So they'll do whatever it takes to win. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Alabama with a first and ten here. Use the play fake, now to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. So surprised we have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if you can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Milro. Fires to the middle. He caught it. Touchdown, Alabama! And the beatdown has ensued. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address, do something different. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane and they'll stop him at the 16. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. To the air, it's Wolf. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Quick strike complete. Well, and here's the problem offensively, because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Off the play fake. Trying to beat the D deep. And it's incomplete, going for the massive, explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. It's complete. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. 
Well, this offense has not put their best product on the field today. They've got no points to show for any of their efforts so far, but they've still got a chance. But if it's going to happen, it has to happen now in this two-minute situation. This is where their playmakers need to step up. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man quickly. And they pick up just a few on that completion. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Here comes the offense on second down. They keep attacking through the air. Gets it out fast. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Brings up third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And the Broncos have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Broncos. And that's what I love about empty sets and four nations on offense, is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw and do. You saw it right there. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. On the move, it's Wolf. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. An 84-yard drive there, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. Here comes that Alabama offense. The give and tick, 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 tick. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. They'll ride the hot hand. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Time out called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The give is to Miller. Touchdown tie! And the pummeling has started. That score looks as if this one might have put it a little too far out of reach. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. That was just the icing on the cake. But, you know, speaking of cake, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Can we, can we get out of here? Can we finish this game so I can go get something to eat? They'll try to tack one more on their score. And 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Well, this offense needs something to feel good about. It hasn't been very productive today, Jesse. Well, I think it's just important they stay aggressive, try to throw the football, and just see what this quarterback can do here at the end of the game and build confidence for the next time they take the field. Yeah, and there hadn't been much good today. But uh, build confidence, sure. But just show your team you're going to keep fighting no matter what the scoreboard says. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Wants to throw. It's Wolf. Throws to the wideout. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you can tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. Right back up top on second and ten. It's caught downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got a can. Back to the air one more time. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. This time it's complete. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. He misses his man. The accuracy just not what it needed to be on that play. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Broncos want to pick up the tempo. Quick snap and a spike to stop the clock. Brings up second down. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. Takes it all the way down to the floor after making the grab, and they're set up. Timeout called by the offense. 23 seconds remaining in the game. And the Broncos have it in scoring position on first and goal. Going for six. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays.
And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Throws to the back. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Well, there was a golden opportunity for the offense to come away with two points there, but he dropped it in the end zone. That's a catch you have to make. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. Today's final score, Alabama, 31, Western Michigan, 14. Entering post-game screen, you have four options. Stats is selected. 